A very warm hello and welcome to this webinar on a practical guideline on PV adoption in football within the SDG Striker project. SDG Striker aims to increase organizational capacity for good governance in grassroots sports organizations by supporting the implementation and communication of the Sustainable Development Goals. Relevant research findings of sustainability aspects have been compiled on three focal areas, energy poverty, energy efficiency, photovoltaics, and green turf filler. The funding of the project by the European Commission under the Erasmus Plus program is gratefully acknowledged. The 17 SDGs are shown in this figure. It is a shared concept for peace and prosperity for people and the planet. In total, they include 169 targets that are assigned to the different goals. According to the United Nations Sports in general is an important enabler for sustainable development. In order to fulfill the SDGs, it is essential to have a healthy society and physical activity and sports are helpful to achieve these goals. Physical activity is essential for improving health and contributes to both the prevention and treatment of disease. People who are physically active and participate in sports benefit on a social, physical and mental level. Sport does not only benefit the physical fitness, but it can also communicate a healthy lifestyle to children. Moreover, physical exercises also have a positive effect on mental health, self-esteem and self-confidence. Sport also promotes tolerance and respect and it contributes to the empowerment of women and young people, individuals and communities. So why can football accelerate SDG spread? All over the world millions of adults and their families visit sports stadiums each year and sport facilities serve as an emotionally captivating scape, inspiring lifelong memories. Consequently this is the ideal possibility for the fans to become aware of on-site solar power generation, energy and water-efficient building design, zero-waste practices, recycling and composting programs, etc. Related to that are minimized environmental impacts, financial benefits as well as brand benefits, etc. One pilot of the SDG project addresses PV units. It is located in Portugal and it deals with photovoltaics potential and feasibility on sports facilities. Therefore, as it can be seen in this figure four SDGs are addressed with this pilot, including Goal 7, Affordable and Clean Energy, Goal 11, Sustainable Cities and Communities, Goal 12, Responsible Consumption and Production, and Goal 13, Climate Action. So what are photovoltaics? PV systems convert solar radiation into electricity. They are not to be confused with solar thermal panels which use the sun's energy to heat water for hot water and space heating. A PV system generally consists of PV panels, metering, control and protection systems and grid connection, and DCSE inverter, power cables, and optionally, a battery system. It can for instance be mounted on the roof or integrated into the facade of a building. The electricity generated can be used to meet the building's own energy consumption requirements or, in certain situations, fed back into the electrical grid. The global solar resource potential is simply huge. With the global solar irritation our energy demand could be met and recent growth rates in the installation of PV systems have shown that it is possible for sport clubs to benefit from this abundant resource. Some key facts on the PV technology. PVs respond to direct and diffuse radiation, in simple words the more sunshine, the greater the output. PV cells do not let light through but modules can be constructed so that some areas are transparent and some are opaque. PV systems tend to be most efficient when the array experiences uniform conditions. Designers can facilitate this. The energy payback periods for PVs are short provided the system is installed to optimize performance. For grid-connected systems the annual energy production is the key figure. The orientation is relevant but not always critical. A range of orientations can yield a good output but shading is to be avoided wherever possible. Some key points how to succeed installing your PV installation. First, focus on productivity versus capacity. Second, make friends with your utility. Third, get creative with your financial model. And most important, engage your community. For investigating the feasibility and cost-effectiveness of the system, we recommend to focus on energy production rather than the capacity of the system to better align your goals with the actual system design. Energy production concerns the actual estimated energy the system will produce after all factors are taken into account. 
your local utility, so the company which is providing the electricity at your facility is an important partner in order to build a cost-effective project. Net metering means the recording and balancing of production and consumption to receive credit for the electricity generated that is not consumed by yourself. Contact your utility provider at the beginning of the project to have a chat on the topic and Research for local net metering policies, local incentive programs and other services available to make the best use of all options. As far as the financing is concerned, we encourage to get creative. Use a combination of options to lower the total capital cost and minimize your system's payback period. Think about more than tax incentives, loans and grants in your financial model. Consider options that can create win-win partnerships with corporate sponsors that are interested in reaching fans. It is very beneficial to engage your community. Use your system as a tool to educate and engage your community through tours of the stadium, on-site educational programs or partnerships with school programs, etc. And determine your community engagement strategy at the start of the project. You are still not 100% sure how to succeed installing your perfect PV setup at your sports facility? We provide you in more detail the individual steps in the following section. We recommend to conduct an energy audit as a starting point because it measures the current energy load and therefore facilitates scoping a potential on-site project in relation to the system goals. Contact your local energy provider for information on free or low-cost energy audit services available in your area. For the planning, determine the outcomes you wish to achieve as a result of the installation, e.g. if the primary goal is to engage fans in your commitment to sustainability, make sure that the system is visible to the fans. Important questions here are. Do you want your system to be a primary energy generation source for your facility? If yes, how much energy does the system need to produce? Is your primary aim to leverage the system as a community engagement platform rather than a primary energy generator? Do you have multiple goals? As an essential precursor to system design, determine the eligibility for public funding and incentives and explore all available option on financial support at federal, state and local level. Many programs include design and system requirements that limit eligibility so it is good to know them and some programs require you to apply and obtain approval on the incentives before you start. The possibilities for financial incentives and subsidies also depends on the policies and priorities of the local government. The major different options for financial support and incentives are tax incentives, upfront grants or favorable loans, indirect incentives, preferential tariffs, and mandated quotas. It is recommendable to conduct a site survey to confirm the feasibility of your facility in hosting a PD system. Critical questions that should be answered are size and location, connectivity, Data monitoring. Our personal tip is that many PV system installers will perform a site survey and feasibility study at reasonable costs. Creative financing strategies enhance the development of on site solar power generation. There are several financing ideas and strategies, e.g., form win win strategic partnerships, partner with a local utility as your system owner, partner with a solar manufacturer. Explore a community-owned solar model. Seek out corporate sponsorships. E.g. corporate sponsors can become official owners of the solar installation and retain the rights to generate electricity to offset the carbon footprint of a nearby corporate facility. Specific information on different contracting strategies is provided here. One option are rooftop leasing arrangements whereas the roof is used by a third party. Within design and build agreements, the owner assumes the cost, schedule and performance risk, the involvement of multiple parties there is also a project risk. Only minimum owner involvement is required if a so-called engineering procurement and construction contractor is taking the risk, but this also potentially increases the total project costs. There are drivers and barriers to invest in PV, but with the actual rise in electricity prices, regulations to be favorable, PV installations can bring clear benefits to your club and sports community. The focus of the request for proposals depends on the selected ownership model. If you own the PV system, you will do a standard request for proposals from system designers and installation companies. 
But, it is also not unusual to work with an external project partner who will help you create a basic plan of the project based on the site and your needs. The project manager can then deal with the request for proposals. Connection to the grid is an important part of installing a PV system because it ensures that the energy generated by the system is distributed and used even if you are not consuming it at the time of generation. In most cases, this energy will be credited to your energy bill. There are in principle different system location options to Consider. The roofs, football stadium, headquarter, office buildings, parking lots and garages, canopy-mounted systems, pole-mounted system, some additional key points on installation. It is necessary to consider PVs as an integral part of the energy strategy of a building. Appearance and aesthetics are essential. Shading, e.g. by other buildings, etc., needs to be minimized so as not to degrade performance. There should be a good match between the energy demand pattern of the building and the available energy from the PV system. Adequate ventilation of the PV modules is essential in order to lower temperatures and hence, maintain good performance. Consider the variety of architectural options for successfully integrating PV systems into buildings and, in particular, into roof and facade systems. PV systems can have an effect on the orientation, the facade, the footprint and the section of buildings. Engage your fans and community. The solar energy generation system can be used as a publicly viewable demonstration of commitment to operating an environmentally sustainable venue. The solar energy generation system can be used as a tool to engage the community and fans to build brand equity for their team or venue. Different engagement strategies are possible like public events to mark the project's completion, stadium tours, educational signage or educational toolboxes for local schools. With this information we are at the end of our webinar. We hope the information will help you and wish you best of luck in self-powering your sports facility. Please also consider the two other webinars from the SDG Striker Project and follow us on social media. The financial assistance provided by the Erasmus Plus program of the European Union is gratefully acknowledged. This material is based upon the referenced work and the author make no warranty or assumes any liability or responsibility of any information regarding privately owned rights.